Marinette is a blue collar town. We employ a huge amount of people in service and industry. That's what makes this community go. I mean, we've got large amounts of people that come to this community because jobs are here. When the shipyard's doing really well, a lot of the local businesses are adding jobs. Um, people seem a little bit happier, the money's flowing. When things are at a lull, it can really drag down the economy, drag down the housing. I wouldn't say that the shipyard's part of the fabric of the community. I would say it the other way around. The community is part of the fabric of the shipyard. Over 60% of the employees live in the local area. They are Marinette Marine. Every ship that you see at the waterfront was built from the very beginning at this shipyard by all of our employees here. Since I've been here, they've made a lot of changes to the yard. They've built a new panel line facility on one end, which uh, greatly improved efficiency. I've been working here for 38 years, and I've seen a lot of changes over 38 years. Everything was a gravel, dirt. We used to build modules one at a time and take them outside and build them out by the water in all kinds of weather. The, the investment that Canty Area has made in this shipyard to make it a top-notch shipyard is incredible. 100% paved shipyard now, heated facilities. I've been around the industry a long time and this is a very special place to work. As the largest employer, this is the vitality, this is the lifeblood, the heart of living to small Midwestern towns. Marinette Marine employs approximately 1,500 full-time employees. We have about 2,200 people walking through our shipyard each day. In any large employer in any community has a significant impact on, on just about everything in the community, whether it be housing and, and restaurants, retailers. Any industry that brings in that much work, you can't understate the impact that it has on a community. It's had an impact on some of the suppliers, like industrial paint suppliers. It has brought more workers into the area. I come from a small town on the Upper Peninsula, and there's a huge vacuum because there's no jobs. We've got young people, uh, people want to come back to the community. There's not an opportunity. In Marinette, there is an opportunity. Building ships is a very technical job. It takes people who know how to build ships. Building a ship is not like building a house. The pipers know how to build ships. The electricians need to know how to put wire in a ship. If we've done our job here in the waterfront through the test program, we should take a ship to sea, and a ship should run excellent. Just feeling these things come up on power, knowing they're gonna be able to perform the mission they're designed for when they go to the fleet, is uh, you can't distract, you really can't. Government contracting sometimes is a risky business. You don't know what's coming in the future. I've been laid off quite a bit down here at times. It's been lean years. There's been times when it's been down to very few people. You know, given this environment, we'll, we will lose some expertise out of that younger crowd, out of that younger generation, if we have to slow this process down. I mean, less ships means less people. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple math for us. I hope they restore that LCS program back to the 50 ships keeps these younger kids working. I'm born and raised here, lived all over the south, east coast, west coast, and I came back. I love the sense of community here, and I'd like to raise a family here and stay working here at the shipyard. I know a lot of people from all over the country that have actually moved here. They're starting families here, buying houses. New businesses are popping up all because of the shipyard, so if we were to keep getting contracts here, people would stay here, keep working, and the community would keep prospering. It's more than essential, it's vital to the community. We've seen it in places across the country where a plant shut down and the community dies. Right now we've made a lot of improvements going from ship to ship and we're seeing the successes of those right now. If we didn't have the frigate follow on, we would lose a lot of the skilled labor and lessons learned. We would lose all of the employees that we've already trained. These people know the importance of frigate, but they don't give up. And so we cannot overlook the dedication 
of our employees, the men and women who walk through the gate every day to say, I will stand with the U.S. Navy to keep our military in good standing, good stead with good quality ships. It affects both sides of the border, Michigan, Wisconsin. We've got uh, uh, Democrats, Republicans that have backed this project. They realize what jobs do to a community. You've got families that depend on this shipyard. It's what's gonna make this area and keep this area great is having that next set of ships. We, here at home, here in the hard land, Shipbuilders, sailors, senators, and citizens, together, as we ready Wichita to join the fleet, to take on the watch, we embark on writing the next chapter of our American story. The next chapter in the history of freedom. The next chapter on the blessings of our liberty.